when I first started a while back in this business, I was an installer of this asbestos. We're just a paper mask, no, nothing that we have now. You, you, you can see where we were. Mm -hmm. Nothing like this, it was just a paper mask. With our work clothes, that we wore the work in the morning and wore home at night. But I always make sure of myself staying clean all the time, you know. And if I go around my kids, my family, you know, I don't want no problems. Well, I've heard of instances, in fact, there was one recorded here in New York City where, uh, this, well, I guess it's recorded where a girl ended up with asbestosis and she had lung problems where she lost one lung where the father worked in the trade. The mother washed her clothes, she ended up with the same thing. In turn, the daughter most naturally, how are you, daddy, give you a big hug. It's got all of his clothes, she ended up with it, so. I'm a ceiling man. I've been working with ceilings for 15 years. Up until now, we didn't know that the had, asbestos had cancer in it. We, we went along knocking asbestos off of beams to shoot track on it, hang wires from it. Never thought anything of it. And never had any protective covering because we never knew it could consider cancer. Well, a friend of mine has a bad lung from uh, installing, you know, spraying this asbestos on. I don't know if you know the procedure, but they used to have a hopper, you know, go through a hose and spray it on, and have to tamp it, you know. And the only, the only thing we did for precautionary measure was to cover the windows, the glass, and if there's any brick veneer or, or finish, not a finish floor so much, but a floor, because it has to the cement and it get hard. It was just to cover these things because we had to clean them afterwards, okay? And we don't want to go through the bother cleaning them. But today you can see the precautions, just take it down what they do.